cock crows twice versus cock crowing in general contradiction in the bible 001 taken from um, answeringchristianity.com 101 bible contradictions by Shabir Ali <coughs> so what's this contradiction about this contradiction is basically about the number of times the cock crowed as stated in the bible as well as a failed prediction let's read what it says then Um, what um, what did Jesus say about Peter's denial? The cock will not crow till you have denied me three times. In John thirteen thirty eight, and the second verse says, "Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times." Mark fourteen thirty. When the cock crowed once, the three denials were not yet complete. Mark fourteen seventy two. Therefore, the prediction has failed. Let's have a look at this and see if that's the case. <coughs> In Mark fourteen thirty. Um, so what, what's happening is that Jesus is uh, telling Peter that um, he's, um, he's going to de deny him. So he says here, Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, Today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. So for John, look at John thirteen thirty eight. Then Jesus answered, will, will you really lay down your life for me? Verily, truly I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Let's, has, let's actually have a look at what happened then. So um, he make, Jesus makes this prediction to, to Peter about, about denying, <clears throat> about his denial of Jesus. So um, Jesus has been captured now, and they're in the um, um, Peter's in a, is in a, is in a, is in a doorway. So he says that a servant girl comes up to him and says to him, "You were also with that Nazarene Jesus," she said, but he denied it. I don't know what I don't know or understand what you're talking about he said and went out into the entryway when the servants saw him there again she said to those standing around this fellow is one of them and again he denied it after a little while those standing near said to peter surely you are the one you are one of them for you are a galilean he began to call down curses and he swore at them i don't know this man you're talking about immediately the rooster crowed the second time then Peter remembered the words Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will, uh, will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. And so I'm not going to read all of this, but this is this is John, uh, John's account. Um, so it's a similar situation. Um, are you one of his disciples? She asked, she said. She asked him. He replied, I am not. Denial one. Are you one of the disciples? He denied it. I am not. Third denial. One of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him. Didn't I see you with him in the in the garden? Again, he, Peter denied it, and at that moment, the rooster began to crow. So, is this a failed prediction, and is this a contradiction because of the number of times the the um, cock crowed? Let's have a look exactly what Peter, um, what Shabir Ali said. So, he said he said. When the cock crowed once, the, th the three denials were not yet complete. See Mark fourteen seventy two. Therefore, it's a failed prediction. However, cock crowed once is not mentioned at all in either Mark or John. It just says the cock crowed the second time, or in some translations, the cock crowed twice. Yeah. There's no um, reference to the cock crowing once and only once. It doesn't exist. Okay. So, for, f from a um, contradiction point of view, this doesn't actually. This, we, Shabbat Ali is referencing something that doesn't exist. So this is a very big fail here. So like when the cock crowed once, the three denials were not complete. Doesn't exist. This reference here, he's referencing something that does not exist. It's a big fail. I've drawn a little diagram for you, and um, to show you what what happened, to just to illustrate it. So in it, this is a timeline here, and this is the cutoff point. So we have Mark here, 14, uh, 3072, deny, 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 cock crows once, cock crows twice. And then in John, it's saying um, cock crowing in general. So deny, 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 cock crowing in general, many, maybe once, twice, many times, who knows. The um, important point to notice is that both statements are true, but Mark is more specific than John in that it states the number of times the cock crowed. Nowhere is it mentioned when the cock crowed once and only once. It just says it crow, crow twice. Okay. So summarising then, in real life, a cock will crow more than once, perhaps once, twice, maybe five times. 
The important point to understand is that Jesus' message was captured correctly in both statements, and both statements are independently true in their own right. Mark is more specific in that it captures the number of times the cock crowed, i.e. twice. John does not capture them times the cock crows, but crowing in general. Being more specific is not a contradiction. This is 100% not a contradiction. Thank you for listening. Take care. Miss you all. Bye-bye.